Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> how are you? Hey, Miss Joyce, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Yay, how are you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome. So if you haven't been in one of my previous classes, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes at the Columbia County Library in uh, Evans, Georgia. <laughs> and also the Harlem Library, Uchi Creek Now, Grovetown Library, because Grovetown got a new building and stuff. Hey, 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 hey. So we're very excited about our new building and stuff. And of course, now we're all kind of staying home and staying safe. So we're all doing our classes virtually and everything. We used to do our classes on Facebook, but of course now we're doing everything here on YouTube. So welcome, welcome. And of course, our class today is internet shopping and digital couponing. So before we get started, just a little side note here. Please feel free to post any questions you have in the chat and everything. And the big question I always ask is how can I help? Okay. So how can I help? What questions do you have already before we even uh, get started and everything? <laughs> welcome, welcome. And of course, one of the big things is you may be watching this as a replay, but one of the big things of course is, is if you come to class, and when it's live like now, then of course you can feel free to ask questions and interact and all kinds of good stuff like that. So while we're kind of getting everybody to come into the classroom and stuff, let me go ahead and I'll talk about some of our schedule coming up for this week. So I'll disappear. So this month we've had a whole bunch of different exciting classes and we also have had some Halloween themed stuff. So of course we're doing our digital uh, internet shopping and digital couponing and I'll be adding on some a little bit about Uber Eats and stuff like that as well on there. And a lot of people are having to do that because, you know, just trying to stay home and stay safe and everything. And tomorrow at, two, at uh, excuse me, tomorrow at 11 o'clock, I'll be doing a gadget help with Alex on Zoom. Just call into the Harlem Library and set up a scheduled time and they'll give you the rest of the information. It'll be held from 11 to one o'clock. They're 30 minute to uh, 60 minute intervals and just call in and set up the schedule. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna be doing a fun scratch class. We have a bunch of Halloween themed classes. Let's make a spooky card and dance party using scratch. And on the 22nd, we're gonna be doing that at class again. Uh, let's make a fun card for the Grotown Library. Of course, it'll still be here on our YouTube channel. And then on the afternoon, we're gonna be doing Python coding Halloween. Let's make a scary, uh, spot the difference prank. So we'll actually code something that'll look like it's a game and then you get your friends or family members to click on it and then a ghoul jumps out and goes, oh! So we'll be coding that with Scratch. And then next week we'll be doing so our first class with Unity actually, which is a gaming, mostly for gaming, I'll say gaming and animation class, which will be fun. We'll be making a like a robot game Excuse me. And on the 28th, um, we'll be actually be doing the Python coding class again, spot the difference prank. And then on the 28th in the afternoon, we're going to be doing a Raspberry Pi project where basically it's it's similar to our whoopee cushion, but it's like a, a, something you could set on the front porch. Somebody steps on it and it makes different random sounds and we'll actually get to choose which random sounds it'll make. So I'll be doing that on the 28th, a really fun Halloween project. And then on the 29th, we're going to be doing a gadget zoom with Alex. Just call into the Grovetown Library to set that schedule up. It'll be from 11 to 1 o'clock, and you can set your time. And then I'll, I'll I'll send you the information about that. They'll give you the my contact information that way. And then you set up a schedule, and then we'll be doing one-on-one -on -one sessions through Zoom. Okay. And then we'll finish off the month of Halloween with our Scratch Basics. Let's make a spooky game again. Okay. Just a little side note, we have switched over from RB Digital. So if you're looking for the free audiobooks and the free um, ebooks, just realize you need to download the Libby app. It's very easy. If you already have a uh, library card, all you do is you, you download the app, Libby, 
and then you search not for Columbia County Library, not for Harlem Library, not for Grovetown. You search for Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System. So when it says, what is your library? That's the library you say you're using. And then it'll say, choose one of these and choose where it says Georgia Download Destination. And then input your library card and then you're all in. You'll have access to all those eBooks and audiobooks. More, more actually than what RB Digital had. On a little side note, uh, our, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holes Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details. Of course, you can call into the library Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll get updates. Right now we're having a scribe-a-thon, <laughs> I guess you'd say. Uh, if we can get 100 subscribers on our YouTube channel, we get a unique... Um, uh, web, uh, excuse me, we get a unique um, address uh, to our channel. But if you're looking for our channel currently, just search YouTube for GCHRL videos. Okay. All right. So we've covered a lot. Let me go ahead. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to post into our chat here. So any, any questions before we get started? Let's see. So let me go ahead and all right. So I'm going to post my handout into the chat so you can view it and everything and download it as well. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up for us. There we go. We'll have to wait a second for that to load. Hope everybody had a good, uh, I know we start on Tuesday, but hope everybody had a good weekend and everything and staying safe and stuff. All right, so it is now loaded. And like I said, I'm going to add a little bit extra here. I know a lot of folks may be using um, different services, kind of like Uber Eats or the rest of them. There's different ways that you can actually get uh, percentage off of those services. Um, I will tell you the the only negative thing on there is that if you look at um, and I've used the the Uber Eats one, is that it actually will say like a delivery fee, and then there's sometimes you can get free delivery fee if you order within, you know, the next 30 minutes or something. That may mean that they're picking up something else. Absolutely, Miss Joyce, the weather is wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> it's wonderful outside. It's supposed to. I, don't, I think last week they were talking about dropping in the 40s at some point, but I haven't seen that recently. What is our what is our weather for the week? Eh, 60, 65, doing pretty good. So the coast is going to get it. It's about 60, 65. So that's pretty good, staying in the 80s. That's very nice. It's the kind of still going outside and doing stuff weather and uh, going for a walk and stuff. Okay, so one of the things is um, with the Uber Eats and stuff like that is that there usually is what they call a service fee, okay? And Uber Eats said the most it'll charge is $4.50. Now, you also remember that you do have to give your driver a tip as well. So that it automatically sets you to 18%. But you all the lowest you can go is 15% or higher. Uh, so just realize that. Um, but you'd be surprised if you haven't used the app before that there are um, some places that seem a very far distance away from maybe from where you live that it doesn't cost, it, it maybe even have a cheaper delivery fee than the place that's around the corner. Why? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because uh, some of those are, are more, you know, used more regularly so that it can be a cheaper price. So if you are trying to use some of those, and I'll talk about uh, that a little bit later when we talk about our digital apps and stuff, 
there's ways that you can actually some apps you can use that will actually give you a um, I guess you should say a kickback or a percentage back if you use some services or like buy something on eBay buy something on uh, walmart.com and I'll be pointing those out too okay all right so let's talk about what we're going to cover today we're going to talk about shopping online safety okay big thing is to know your rights okay we'll talk about scams we'll talk about browser tabs and if you've heard any new scams let me know as well I know that there's uh, uh, some the weird robocall ones that are going around a lot right now and then they start asking a whole bunch of information and some of them may even be something about them asking for a poll for the um, for the presidential race or local races or anything like that so do be aware that you should not have to be able to give out much information uh, for anything like that and uh, just be aware of any kind of thing that they're asking maybe you feel like too much information just remember that you can hang up at any time <laughs> all right so we'll talk about scams browser tabs product search and compare sites okay Black Friday and Cyber Monday uh, those are going to be really interesting this year I've heard a lot of the stores are not going to do as much in-house stuff on Black Friday and they may even push a lot more stuff to the, the Cyber Monday um, but they're still going to have great deals a lot of them are going to push a whole lot of sales stuff because as we know the, the the term Black Friday that means they're trying to get more into the positive as the counting term so the problem is all year so far with the you know everybody staying at home and stuff and ordering stuff they may really start pushing a lot of sales uh, with Black Friday hoping that people you know want to come out and get stuff and buy stuff and or they're willing to um, you know buy it online and have it shipped to their house okay so we'll talk about that we'll talk about when we talk about our apps we'll talk about uber eats and some other ways that you can get some kickback stuff i guess you could say uh percentage back i guess that'd be considered a kickback and we'll talk about our online stores gift ideas coupon sites and of course daily deal sites like groupon and stuff and some retailer apps as well okay all right so let's go ahead and like i said i have the handout in there and definitely feel free to ask any questions you know at, at any time and I should be able to do yay here we go and uh, yeah feel free to ask any questions like I said when the benefits is coming to the class when it's live is that you can ask me any questions you want and I can see if I can answer it how about that all right so we're gonna shop online talk about safely shopping online now the big thing is to make sure that before we do a purchase online we need to make sure that our windows is up to date and our browser is up to date so anytime I know it may seem like it's a little annoying Windows 10 if you're on a Windows 10 machine or even if you're using uh, the app on one of the phone devices or whatever and it may say you need to update before you can log in update before you can make a purchase or anything like that but remember that's to keep us safe there is a um, I think I won't go into it too much I've, I've just read a quick article about it that there they found like a, a loophole in one of the Windows machines software so they're the federal government's pushing Microsoft and of course they will very quickly push out an update to patch that security hole um, so all those companies and stuff work in tandem because that that slows them down that slows them down from selling stuff to us if we don't feel as secure okay so the big thing is keep your um, windows up to date keep your browser up to date and to make sure you do have some antivirus software in your computer and remember Windows 10 comes with a free um, security software uh, blanking on what the name of it is it comes with a free one just Windows security essentials already built in and stuff they've recently updated that so it's a little bit more secure as well a big thing is before we make any kind of purchase online make sure that you have the padlock on there uh, I've recently gotten a lot of questions of what about using these apps that they want us to use in some ways the apps can be more secure especially if you're trying to check your 
credit card balance or you're going to check in and try and check your um, bank statement or something if you if you're concerned disconnect from the Wi-Fi allow your cell phone or your tablet or whatever to connect directly to uh, the cell phone the cell phone tower or whatever and then that's even an extra level security unless it's your home internet you're fine with that um, but yeah so just an extra extra level now the big thing is um, make sure you have a padlock on there on your browser before you make a purchase okay if you go to a website and it's asking for your credit card information and you're seeing the padlock on here you're not seeing a padlock that may mean because they're not as legitimate as they may seem to be okay now the other thing is here and I really want to push it use a real credit card okay because if there is any kind of fraudulent charges you can dispute them later with no out of uh, pocket you know amount is the to dispute uh, debit cards withdraws money directly from your credit um, your checking account so it's a little bit harder to recover so definitely use a real credit card if you're making a purchase online maybe even set a low credit limit specifically for your online purchases um, I'm getting an alert uh, lately apparently with um, one of this one of my credit cards is with Capital One and they actually have an uh, app you can download and they'll give you a temporary um, the temporary um, one-time use card number okay so do realize that you can do that as well uh, and I'll throw this out there now I know they're waiting to the scam area I will tell you this it does seem like Facebook advertisement is really becoming a wild west uh, so be very leery of any websites that you click on uh, with the Facebook advertising uh, some of those will steal pictures from real websites and uh, some of those may be completely legitimate uh, but just be aware that if it seems too good to be true it probably is that's right <laughs> Ms. Joyce did I hear you say that after I said that because you've heard that for a long time absolutely uh, I've, ha I've, I've had uh, family talk to me about a uh, really big uh, blender uh, a Frigidaire, not Frigidaire. Anyway, the big metal blender that you know has been. Some people have bought those like in the the 1970s and stuff, and still have them around. So really, really good, great blender. And then seeing some advertisements on Facebook, and these these blenders are like two fifty, three hundred dollar blenders. And this Facebook ad that says they'll sell you the same blender for twenty five dollars. Now that sounds like a great deal. And then you actually look at the site and the site looks legitimate but just a few things in there are just kind of odd so and then you actually do a google search and type in that website and then a bunch of people come up and it says in, in like forum groups and stuff that they've been scammed so just be aware of that i don't know what's going on but facebook especially has been doing a lot of advertising and it may be fraudulent so just check, just make sure and triple check before you order anything okay Another way to buy stuff online and to keep your credit your credit card your bank account secure is to get a gift card okay get a gift card you can go into Walmart CVS Walgreens Target any of those and even if you want to make a purchase online at those same those same stores Walmart you can get a gift card from cash um, put $20 down they'll give you a gift card and you can buy stuff on their website with it and I want to buy something from eBay uh, Amazon any of that again you can get a gift card from those put $20 cash down and that's it exactly okay so don't just think about that there's online versus store because sometimes if they don't have in the store you may be able to purchase it online as well and the big thing is to definitely check your statements often um, if you see anything funny in there try to report it as quickly as possible and I actually have the the Capital One app on my phone so anytime I make a purchase it actually gets a da -da -da to let me know that there's been a purchase on the card about a year or two ago at this point um, I actually had one where I was getting a did it did it charge did it and it was like at three businesses and it's it was in Atlanta and I had actually taken a trip to Atlanta about three months previously now I don't know if anybody did get my credit card number remember they can they have a, a software that they can try to guess credit card numbers 
Uh, so do realize that. You can be very protective of your credit card information, but they do have ways that they can try to guess numbers and see if they'll work. And one of the things was I called my credit card company immediately, and they even thanked me for telling them about the, uh, the credit card, the fraudulent charges. They said, this is not you. I said, no. I said, I'm not in Atlanta. <laughs> so uh, that's exactly what they did. They said, no problem. And they said, cancel the card. I did have to go about a week until they sent me a new card, but I'm sure there's ways I could have I could have used my you know maybe the one-time card number. I didn't actually need my card that week, so I guess there's some way of doing that. But they gave me a new card, and um, there you go. I didn't have to have to pay those charges. All right, so let's talk about knowing our rights, and I'll go ahead and disappear here. So in the United States, online purchases you make with the credit card are protected by the Fair Credit Billing Act, which limits your responsibilities for fraudulent or erroneous charges to $50, okay? Now, I personally have never had um, my credit card or whatever charge me $50 for this. I doubt you will have that issue either. Just let you know that that is what the law states is the most you should ever have to pay if fraudulent erroneous charge is $50, okay? So if, if they come back and say some weird thing, I doubt they will. But um, weird thing, and more than that, you can also look that up at the FTC.gov website for uh, consumer.ftc.gov, and it has a whole lot of information on there as well. And I've got all the links on there too. All right, let's talk about scams. These are all great topics where we talk um, about looking for great deals online, so we already are prepared. Again, if something looks too good to be true, it probably is. Some of these deal sites, you'll look at it and you go, oh, well, that's only, you know, one, that one site has it $15 more and this is $15 cheaper. That seems reasonable to me. I'm buying something, you know, and it's, you know, less than $100 and one site has it $15 cheaper. That doesn't sound like a scam. Of course, we'll talk more about that later. It's just something to the effect of, um, you know, now if it was like, oh, there's this $300 thing and they're trying to sell it to me, you know, like a skin for, for $25, eh, you may need to look into that. That possibly could be some kind of scam. So definitely think about that. Use your wits about you. Just like if someone walked up to you on the street and said, hey, I got a great deal for you. you know, some of these websites are similar to that. Now, this is a website called uh, QuidBids, and there's a bunch of other sites that are similar as well. And I'll show that real quick, and I'll kind of explain what they are. So the big thing about it is these are websites, and you will talk to some people, and I'm sure they'll say, I got a really good deal on that site, uh, but do realize that you pay to bid. So sites like eBay, uh, you do not pay to bid. Etsy, you do not pay to bid. You see the item, you buy the item. If it's an auction site like eBay, you see the item. If you become the highest uh, bidder within the time frame, you know, it, it, it expires. It's not an ongoing, um, you know, situation. You'll see that these are ongoing and it does cost to bid, okay? Again, we're dealing with the thing of uh, one person wins and everybody else is out whatever money that they have paid uh, to get this item, okay? And you'll see that they actually, the timer doesn't stop as long as people are bidding, okay? So the penny auctions do cost. So I won't really say it's a scam, but I'll just say that if you pay money and you can walk away, if you paid money and you walk away with nothing, it makes me feel like it's a scam, um, but yeah. So that's the pay to bid sites, be aware of those. And there's also ones you'll see things that say something to the effect of a high shipping rate, okay? Now, as far as scams go, in general, one, one, one big one to note is that you can go to a website like consumer.ftc.gov and then go to the scam alerts page the Scam Alerts page has a whole lot of great information on here, how to avoid scams, and this is from a .gov site, okay, so this is a U.S. government site. You can report scams if you want to, how to spot a scam, 
common different scams. It talks about the IRS scams, social security scams, phishing scams. They're trying to grab what your uh, password is in some way, fake check scam. And this is actually the, their, their blog. They, they talk about all kinds of different scams and you can actually click here and find out some great information. They have it and organized here in categories, free trials of stuff, identity theft. So just be aware of that. And if you are, if you do come across something um, that you're not sure what it is, and scams are one of those things of tell friends and family about them. Uh, the more people hear about how a scam works, the less likely they are to get scammed. Like the IRS phone calls, and we were, excuse me, we were getting that in our area. Someone calls you, pretends that they're the IRS, and then they basically want you to pay them two hundred dollars, or they're going to come arrest you tomorrow. And they take all major credit cards. No, <laughs> that's a scam. Okay. Another big one here, and it even points out here, is if you do hear a friend or family member that's paying somebody by buying a bunch of gift cards and then scratching them off and then sending them the numbers, that's probably a scam. The way they like that, the scammers like that, is because you can't really get the money back. Okay. Won a lottery, anything like that. Ways to avoid scams. Look for reputable websites. You can always still go to the Better Business Bureau. Use the online payment services like PayPal or Google Checkout. Then just just a you know they say click here to make a payment. This does allow you to have a go between between them and you purchasing something. And a big one is, uh, you know, just buy from reputable websites that you know of. You know, like Amazon, eBay, different places like that. Not sure. You can always contact or or call the the seller usually um, the reputable ones um, will definitely have their phone number or a 1-800 number on there that you can call I've done that personally and asked questions about two products I was working to see if they would work together and the person said yes and I said okay I want to buy this and the person goes well I'm just an information um, you, you bought you make a purchase on the website you don't we don't take credit card numbers over the phone I was like okay so just realize that kind of about scams. Share that information with friends or family member. And like I said, you know, uh, I've, if you've been in one of my classes in the past, you've probably hear, heard me say, uh, you, you talking to Aunt Lucille and all of a sudden she's, you hear about her sending $200 a month to somebody. Well, who's that Aunt Lucille? Who, why are you sending the person that? Goes, I don't know. He just said that he needed money and I've been helping him and, he, she tells you all about his family and he has a sick sister and, and you're like and you're sending him money why so yeah beware of that it could they could be getting scammed in some way all right so there's also was a um, uh, the postal inspectors episode where the grandmother had gotten con somebody had gotten her contact information and she was sending the money cash wrapped up in an envelope through the mail because the guy said that he could uh, triple quadruple her money and then they could help pay for the granddaughter's college fund and it was all a big scam and the the family blocked the person from calling her on her home phone and in the show which is probably based on a real um, incident sent her a cell phone in the mail so he could continue to talk to the grandmother on the phone. Yes. <laughs> and uh, because she thought the grandmother thought she was helping um, her granddaughter and was going to surprise her granddaughter, um, she kept doing it until the family really found out what was going on and really was able to help her. So we do need to help Aunt Lucille with uh, hearing all kinds of stuff if you hear anything kind of strange. Okay. All right, a big one is browser tabs. So I'll kind of pull that up a little bit. The big one, of course, with browser tabs is that we can have more than one thing open at a time. Like we can go to google.com and then we can actually flip back and forth, okay? I'll close that. We hit the little X to close the tab and this allows us to search more than one website at a time, okay? 
All right, so let's go on down here. And let's do a little bit of a product search. So it hasn't come out yet, the holiday gifts for CNET, I know that. So I'm not, I don't think, I think that CNET link still has uh, last year's information on it. But let's talk about some of our online stores and talking about doing product searches, okay? So some of the online stores here, we have, you know, classic ones like Amazon, uh, Tiger Direct for computer stuff, Newegg computer stuff, eBay for everything, Overstock. I know Etsy is becoming very popular. Uh, just be aware there are there's a few, I'll say, you know, things that even uh, the the eBay wouldn't allow on there, tech stuff. And uh, you're like, why is this on here? eBay wouldn't allow this on here. So be, just be aware of that because Etsy's become kind of becoming that too. But the main purpose of Etsy is people really looking that people make crafts, homemade things, and then you're able to make a purchase and they'll even customize it for you too. A lot of stuff that people say, hey, I need this to be 3D printed or whatever. And there's a lot of people that have 3D printers and are actually making, um, you know, a business of printing things for people. All right, so if we just go to, let's say, Amazon.com. Now, one of the big things is it actually already can see at the very top here. It already has the um, padlock on there, so it means it's secure between us and them. And then here it says HTTPS, okay? And then, of course, we have our product search that we can search here. And if we do have an account, we could log in over here as well. Now, their main page, they'll show the daily deals, which we'll kind of talk about a little bit earlier. Excuse me, a little bit later. We'll talk about that before I talked about this. But anyway, uh, we'll go back in time. Anyway, you can scroll down. They have all kinds of different things that they sell here. This is really the number one online seller, at least for the US. And if we scroll down, you'll get all kinds of great ideas uh, one thing I've even typed in here, uh, basically kind of a brief description. I wanted to get something, let's say, for a college student. So I said college student gift. And then it actually has that as a category. And it'll say male or female, and it'll go into all kinds of stuff like that. So even if you are looking for a suggestion for a gift, uh, some of these, I'm not sure if that would work at Walmart, maybe Target. But I know the Amazon, it works that way you can actually search for the categories that way. So let's kind of search for some stuff here. Let's go ahead and we'll start out with our GoPro. We'll talk about what we see and then we'll actually search on Google and see what we can see looking for the same product, okay? Uh, this is one of the newer ones. Uh, that's come out. I think they maybe have come out with a newer one than this, but a GoPro is a big one. It kind of goes into the category of a lot of folks. I've even been just at a restaurant and watched someone recording their food <laughs> using a GoPro because they can put it on a stick and basically just press the button and it's recording. A lot of us think of this as kind of extreme stuff, but it kind of leads into a little bit of everybody kind of wants one. So we have our thing pops up here. We have our sponsors. On our left side, we have our situation where we can actually talk about our brands. Now the brand, of course, is GoPro is what we're looking for here. Uh, it does have some price uh, stuff, so I guess that would be more in the, the accessories under $25. The brands, new arrivals. So basically, we're just kind of uh, scrolling through here. There are ways that you can get whole kits that come with ex all the extra stuff on here. And some websites will make, uh, I won't say they'll make the accessories very cheap, but it may be stuff that you're looking for, something that you want, and you can actually include that as well. Okay, so this is one, I guess this is the main one, the Hero 8 is what we want to really look at. It's, it says it as Amazon choice this is one it's talking about it being a renewed so I guess this is a retailer it's not brand new it's been renewed that'd be interesting to look at a little bit pre-owned products professionally inspected 
tested clean by Amazon qualified supply okay so basically if you're not happy with this again um, one of the things if you're making a purchase here on eBay here Target or even Walmart most of these websites now have sub sellers if you buy something you're not happy with it then you're actually dealing with um, Walmart Amazon and usually if they if you have any questions something that you don't like let them know and they'll take care of it okay so this way you might actually get one of these at a really good price it's just been used but tested maybe a scratch or two on the case hopefully not on the lens that would be a, a send back of course and it gives some other suggestions here too so let's say you do want to make sure you're getting a brand new one so let's look here so it pops up here we have some other options on here and actually talking about the looking at it different ways extreme and even like a little video with it as well okay so this one is actually a waterproof one that might be why it costs more uh, let me see let me go back here maybe out of our price range of what we're looking for okay so so this is a waterproof one hmm okay so it's showing the renewed and all that all right so let's go back up here let's we'll look at this one all right now let's go ahead and we're going to talk about doing a search with the other companies as well um, like the the Google shopping and stuff so let's go ahead we're going to pull up the Google shopper now a lot of the times this will actually pop up just if you go to google.com and then you type in a product and it'll pop up and say you interested in this and you just click shopping in some way um, but this has its own website you see shopping.google.com and oh I could change that yeah so it's shopping now shopping.google okay so I'll change that but anyway it'll actually give suggestions on here electronics decorations all kinds of stuff toys could be helpful when looking for the you know the hot toy of the year or something bedding pretty much anything there's one of those uh, egg like egg like um, products okay so if we go in and we're going to do our search now we've only searched one website okay let's type this in and because we're on the shopping it's going to sh search a whole bunch of other websites uh, as well okay oh I guess the 9 has come out anyway so we're still searching for the 8 uh, but apparently version 9 has come out but we'll focus on the 8 right now I guess that was during the summer anyway so let's see so GoPro water action camera black so it actually says here compare price from 25 different stores so let's click that and this is the big thing right here and why I use Google Shopping is because you can search more than one store at the same time okay so if we scroll down here's from GoPro the actual GoPro that's not that product they have gotten their the confusion on that one that is not that product <laughs> let me make sure yeah that's a case I'm sorry they've gotten that confused that is not they're not selling that um, $300 thing for $80 anyway I will tell you this a lot of folks will kind of not look at the manufacturers website um, I recently got a really great deal on a product and I was just going around and like well I'm looking for this I'm looking for this looking for this and then come to find out it was a uh, laptop and the, the computer website had a huge sale and I could even upgrade some of the parts of it uh, for a lot cheaper than I was expecting so if you do look into that do you realize the manufacturer don't look away from them because they might actually be having some kind of sale or deal you don't know and most of these stores now are really starting to include the free shipping so again here we are as our shipping on here now this is a big one here you'll see your main your main list here 
you'll see uh, targets on here. And this is my really, really good example here. Uh, B and H photo. So you and someone else or family member may have never heard of B and H photo. I have. I bought stuff from them. A fantastic um, company. I've bought um, at least three things from them. And the big thing is that they'll send you, used to send you a big thick catalog, mostly photography and video. So someone may say, well, I've never heard of them. I don't want to buy anything from them. But as you can see, you have your positive feedback here. And you can actually click there, go to their site, and find out more information about them. But you'll find websites on here that maybe you've never visited and get a good deal. Okay. So our price actually pops up here. It's SS and E Photo Video. It's a Google guarantee. So even though I've never heard of this company, it's a Google guaranteed uh, company. So I'm going to go ahead. And can I go to their website? $10 off total price. So I guess they're okay. So there's they're adding wow, $23 worth in taxes. Okay. And this one here. Taxes can be a little tricky. Usually if there's a store in your state, they're supposed to charge uh, taxes, but they they keep going back and forth on that. But anyway, so I could actually, interesting. So if I go to checkout here, no, I don't want to do that then. I want to just see the store. So this is the store. Oh, okay. So it's actually a Google store. Interesting. So they've got all the products right on here. So it actually looks like a really good place to buy things that would be, that would be cheaper and there's a Google guarantee on it as well. Oh, Joyce, you got a question. It says, Joyce said, I used this recently looking for an Epson uh, Super Tanker printer. Okay. Made shopping a lot easier. Yes. But couldn't find one for a long time in stock. Okay. Were you able to finally make a purchase of one? Because we can add that to our search. Okay, these are the ones that you can refill uh, with like buying the extra little refill kit things. Yeah, three months. Wow, okay. Well, I, I applaud your stick to How about that? Um, but yeah, so I will tell you, there's been a, um, you know, a lot of these companies just, you know, in the past nine months or so, some things have been a lot of the things out of stock. And just because we had certain, you know, factories shutting down and then it started back up again. So, yeah, I could I could see that, too. But but yeah, so the Google shopping is a big help and be able to, sh to search more than one um, at a time, of course, is a big thing, too. Yes. Had to stay within budget. Yes, absolutely. And look, there's some, talking about Target, Best Buy, you know, and Walmart, kind of the usual been able to being able to compare them all together, including the tax and the shipping. So hopefully you can find a product that you're looking for a lot quicker too. Whoop. And I closed the handout. There it is. So there's other ones too. There's price grabber. There's also the, the shopzilla. I think the shop hang on. I may have, I don't quit. I may have actually had found out Shopzilla stopped. No, there's Shopzilla. It's changed a little bit. So if we were looking for, yeah, I've had it where I've gone here and it's like they don't even have certain products at all. So they've at the Shopzilla's changed a lot. So I still would probably lean on the Google search one. Okay, so basically searching for hot, you know, hot uh, present or whatever. That's really a big one. Search there. Continue to keep looking. 
Um, but just like I said, you know, use a real credit card if you're going to make a purchase online. That's the best thing to do. Uh, if they do uh, support PayPal, if they do support um, the Google Shopping, or if it's a very well-known company like Best Buy, Walmart, or any of those, those are fine. Just make sure you're at those real website, not some kind of spam site, because that could actually happen. Um, but yeah, so everybody would talk about Fitbit like crazy. And a big one too is, and I'll just tell you about buying anything. Um, before you make a purchase, really recommend looking into the product and uh, I will even do this now. Usually there's, I just want to see it visually. Usually you can do just a quick YouTube search for the product and someone is basically saying, yeah, I just bought this. I really like it, but it's got these issues. And um, if those issues are fine with you, then that's fine too. Um, but yeah, you know, you don't just have to go by that. You can actually look for user reviews or video reviews um, on YouTube as well. So yeah, Fitbit comes up again, searching more than one store. Uh, Verizon is going to sell one. Interesting. And, you know, just try to find out more until you know exactly which product that you're looking for and what the model number is. Okay. All right. So any other questions about that before we kind of move on to our next part? So the big thing about this is just realize that you're not locked into um, one, you know, one store, one online, whatever. Uh, another thing is I actually was searching for something on, it came up on Amazon, and I'm not sure why, but when I was doing the search, it actually listed, you know, the normal Amazon, you know, sell price. And then it actually said they had a flash sale coming up. Um, like in two days and I was like okay and it actually told me what the price was going to be so for a limited time which was like four hour time frame if I if I bought it within then I think I was going to save something like thirty dollars it was really a quite uh, a well worth waiting for you know price and it was the same product too and I was like okay well thanks for telling me about that so those daily deals too can pop up and we'll talk about those in a little bit too. And it may pop up in your search and you don't even realize it. Okay, so let's talk about Black Friday. And let me make one thing sure. People are asking, is Black Friday canceled? It's like, no, it's not. Let me see. Yeah, November 27th this year. Yeah, okay. So one of the things that we actually had going on last year was that uh, it, it was really late in the month. And this year... 27th, that's still pretty late as well, but um, I'm trying to remember. It meant that, oh, that's right, when is Thanksgiving this year? Because Thanksgiving was later, that pushed the Black Friday later. Yeah, so let me see. Yeah, Thanksgiving's the 20, yeah, uh, duh. It even has, has it on the thing here. That's funny. I could have answered my own. I've already answered my own question on the sheet. So there's Thanksgiving. It's the 26th. It's pretty far back into the Thanksgiving, similar to last year. Okay. So it may mean that they're going to create kind of more of a, a time frame to try to make it longer. So do realize that. Okay. Or the deals may go into uh, December. Okay. So we'll have to see exactly what their plans are this year. Uh, a lot of this is, uh, you know, up for grabs, okay? So 
The big thing is that's when the sales papers come out. Again, we talk about the negative and positive. And then there's blackfriday.com. Let's see if that's active. I did this class um, earlier this year. And the funny thing was there actually wasn't really many much information on there at all. There we go. Oh, it's coming soon. Okay, so there it is. They don't really have, let's see. Okay, good. Here, so here's Walmart. Now, I'll tell you about this. Sometimes, and Walmart's can kind of be bad about this, they will have Best Buy. I know Walmart, yes, but they'll have these fantastic deals. They'll talk about when they are. And this is this year, yeah, 22, 2020. Great deals, fantastic sales. Now, I believe that a lot of these they may um, last year. I didn't. I didn't go my. I didn't go for myself, but actually went with. Um, a, yeah, last year went with the uh, friends, and one of the things was in, in in front of Best Buy was they actually gave out tickets. So you're waiting outside. You're given a ticket, and then they were, did limit how many people could go in. Now, trying to stay safe and everything, they would probably do something similar. Um, I could see them having even less people in the store and then waiting you basically waiting outside not because there's an actual line but because I'm waiting for people to come out so could they still do Black Friday sales and everything yes now one of the things too and it's starting to point out that more deals are online look at that okay uh, but they're limiting the time frame on them one of the big things is that they will actually accuse some of these stores of these fantastic deals. Like here's a 55 inch TV. It's a TCL, which gets pretty good reviews. Um, but anything you see ONN, that's actually Walmart's brand or on. That's the Walmart brand. So if there was anything wrong with it, you could bring it back and they pretty much guarantee you would take it back because it's their brand. Um, that something was wrong with it. Uh, of course, Walmart's really good at that anyway. But the problem is they sometimes limit how many they actually have. So let's say they have this fantastic deal on TVs and each store only gets 10. Okay? So do realize that I've personally been in a situation where it got there and then they go, oh yeah, we're out of that, but we have this other TV for 250 That's a much better deal because it has more, more features on it. So just be aware of that, have a backup, try not to have your heart set on one thing and then get there and they don't have it. See if there's another one that's available or something that's similar, okay? And let's see, that's like a projection TV but the resolution is not very good. Yeah, you're not gonna have much, too much fun with that uh, unless you're watching DVDs. <laughs> um, Let's see. Eh, it's not bad. That's a pretty good deal right there. So, yeah. So, look through the sales papers. Try to make a plan. Oh, this is Walmart. I was I was thinking I was looking at Best Buy, and I was like, they have clothes? But anyway, so just realize, and this is, this is Walmart's brand of, I guess you'd say, Craftsman Tools. Okay, this is Walmart's brand. So if they really seem to push this a lot, it's because that's their brand. A good thing again, if it's the, the store's brand, they're more likely to take it back if something's wrong with it. Okay, usually it's a cheaper price, and so forth. Okay, so ooh, the ring light things very very popular. And then there's the basically the new version of the Polaroid, the Fuji. And Wi-Fi, smart stuff, and this looks like a, ah, here we go. Uh, we found something interesting. This is a special buy, a GoPro 7. So you looked into that. Remember we were looking at GoPro 8? Oh, we're not going to, okay, I guess that website's not available yet or something. Uh, for 119 so I just look into this. It may have some features that the newer one had. Um, that this one doesn't have 
But look, this may be alternative. We were looking for GoPro 8. This is GoPro 7. And if it's even well, basically, uh, you know, more than half uh, the price of the newer one, then this may be something you may want to look into. It depends. Money versus, you know, time and all that. Okay, so lots of interesting stuff. And blackfriday.com is a great website that goes. You can see it's pretty easy. Of course, they got advertisements and stuff on there. It's a good place to get started. And as the we get closer and closer, uh, of course, to Thanksgiving, they'll be putting out more and more papers, or they may even be updating the papers. So just be aware of that, okay? Here's Walmart. Oh, so they have two sales papers, okay? And just make sure which ones that you're... I guess looking for 42 inch for 88 and what brand it's on so that means it's their their brand and is this a real instapot yep real instapot six quart for 50 bucks fantastic deal fantastic product I can tell that tell you that okay so Let's go ahead and let's talk about some of our other deals here. Let's see if this website's available yet. There you go. So Black Friday deals, talking about what the Retail Me Not is a great place to find coupons in general. Um, one of the things is I've even uh, was going to purchase something from a, a store. And when I was checking out, it actually popped up and said, do you have a coupon? And I went, oh, I don't have a coupon, but I'll take a few minutes and look and see if I can find one. So I opened up a new tab. I went to Retail Me Not. I typed in the website, and then I got about four different codes popped up. One said something like 20% uh, off. I tried that code, copied and pasted it, and it said that, pay, that had expired. And then I clicked the... What I do, I, I went back and I clicked, clicked copy pasted the next code and pasted that in and it said nope. And then there was one that was 15% off, copied and pasted that in and then yep, it worked. And that meant that it saved me 15% before I was about to check out and I didn't even think about it. It was a hundred dollar um, some order, it's a bunch of things and I got 15% off of everything. And it was a fantastic deal. So before you check out someplace, think about if it does accept coupons, um, go there and see if there's any discounts or anything. Now Cyber Monday is going to be on November 30th, okay? And great places to go to get cyber deals, and Amazon actually has daily deals. And if we go up here, look, there's holiday deals. We're talking about that already. I'll go and click that. We'll see what it says. So they're already showing some deals on here. And some of these may be, yeah, here's their timed deal. says when that's going to end. And if you go to, if you do a search on here, it'll talk about when the deal starts. Okay. So all kinds of great deals on here. And where's the daily deal? Let's see. Holiday deal. I guess that's their button right now is holiday deals. But as you see, it's kind of ever-changing. Shop all deals. There you go. Kind of scroll. Oh, close it. I'm going to the right here. So these are the current deals right now. Yeah, you know, friend, family member. There you go, try to kind of get a plan uh, started. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about some of our, uh, any questions before we, before we uh, move on from that. So we've talked about our daily deals, we've talked about searching, we've also talked about Black Friday that's coming up, where to look for deals on there. Um, I'm a big one about also the uh, Flip app, F-L-I-P-P -P app should also have um, the listing of the Black Friday sales papers to the FLIPP app. I don't have that on the handout, I don't think. 
Yeah, I don't. Okay, so let's talk about some of our price apps, okay? So our price apps, we have the Shop Savvy, okay? Uh, I used to have one that I really liked was the Red Laser, but currently that one has, um, I guess, uh, not working anymore. <laughs> but Shop Savvy does a pretty good job. The big thing about it is if you're in a store somewhere, you can pull the app out, scan the barcode, and then it will try to actually search online and it can actually search online near you as well not as not as great as the old red la laser one but hopefully I'll find a new one that's um, closer to that that as well okay so so the uh, search online are near for your best prices and also you can search for discounts and that'll pop up to you using the shop savvy app now the other ones on here there it is flip yeah so the other ones on here is our Amazon, okay? There's an Amazon app. One of the neat things about the Amazon app is it actually does two things. You can tell it to search barcodes, but it also will try to just, let's say it's a, uh, you know, a box, and it, for some reason you scan the barcode and it's not pulling it up for some reason. You can actually scan and try to take a picture of the actual item. It'll try to search for it, okay? Like the logo or whatever, which is kind of interesting. So the, uh, the Amazon app is fantastic, being able to scan. You can see if it's a cheaper product or whatever. This even makes buying something again, uh, like if you have it at home, pull it up, scan it with the app, and it'll tell you. Now, the eBay one, eBay will also do a barcode scan as well. Now, I've actually heard there was a lady that would come to class, and she would actually talk about, how people would come to her and she does like a craft secondhand store I'm not really sure what it was something like that and people she said she really disliked it because people would bring up and it may be one person that did this a lot I don't know um, she said that would come into her store scan it uh, scan stuff in her store and then show her the price on eBay and want her to be cheaper than that price now do you realize some of the things on eBay are going up for auction okay and then there are things on there that are buy right now okay so do realize that um, it will have both so just because you scanned it with eBay and it says there's a price that may be the the current price but but if it's an auction it may go higher than that all right so flip is the other great app to use and we talked about this a little bit earlier, okay? Flip delivers digital, uh, the, the flyers. <laughs> now, one of the big things about Flip is I talk about it being like, let's go, to, we're gonna order something from the grocery store, see what the sales are, tap them, it'll make a, a buy to-do list, but they also do have a Black Friday sales papers as well, so this may make it very easy for you to look at Black Friday stuff, and it may help you make a little bit of a shopping lift as, as well. It depends on which uh, circulars they get and everything, okay? So you may wanna just check that out. Flip app, really like that. It's very visual, very makes it, makes even going to blackfriday.com very easily to view stuff like that on your phone. Now we, let's talk about our digital coupons here. So our coupon sites, stuff like the Retail Me Not, which I talked about a minute ago, and I'll just go there in general. So like I said, if you're about to buy something and it said you have a coupon, uh, I would just spend five minutes here, open up a new tab, type in the website at the website that's here, and then see if there is a coupon for it. And don't get um, don't get disappointed if if they're looks like they're great coupons, maybe free shipping or something like that. And then you, you put them in the thing, and it says uh, that coupon has expired. Keep trying until there's one that you really like. Usually you can find one. And if this doesn't work, just try to do a, a general Google search as well. Why do they put out coupons? To try to get new customers. Also, they'll also have a certain amount 
of let's say it's a special item they may be trying to have a sale on that item in a different way okay and if in some way they can do uh, you know a limited uh, limited sale of something and then uh, you know use this kind of like a promotion then that's a good thing too so just going here talking about ooh, decorations even all kinds of stuff stores that you probably are gonna go to anyway here's even amazon.com bed bath and beyond Kohl's so if I click here oh if this is this is taking us to our our uh, coupon section okay which is a little different they mostly focus on the uh, grocery store stuff on here but there's a few on here that Amazon will do the percentage but if you are looking for that item I've had it where I'm buying something that said there's a coupon for this and you basically two clicks and you've added it to your um, you've already added it so I, w I don't know if I would go out of my way to search Amazon because if you do find an item on, item on Amazon um, it will include a coupon too if there is one I've had that happen too so this is there's a coupon for this 5% off would you like to use it and I'm like sure so there you go lots of stores on here remember a lot of these are user submitted so if they don't work if they're that they've expired don't get um, you know negative on there you can actually do it the other way and then just try to search for it again let's see oh, I guess not all right so there's also coupons.com I haven't really used coupons.com as much but some people really like it one of the things is that some of these coupons may be ones that you can print out so people do like to, to do the printout coupons okay and if you don't want to print it out then there are ways that you can actually have it text to your phone and then do a barcode scan that way I do think that this this website will ask I won't say too much of it but this website I would definitely use let's say like if you have a spam email account I would probably do that um, but they may start sending you like a newsletter through text or whatever but so just be aware that if it says something do you want us to periodically send you stuff when you first sign up you may want to say no okay depends on what kind of deals you're looking for but they're all kind of listed on here what they are and like I said this one kind of focuses on being able to print your item okay and it may have you log in before you can do that as well okay this is more of the I guess you say sales paper uh, coupon that you would find in like a sales paper all right so any questions about that all right so let's go ahead and let's talk about some of our other the daily deals we did do our daily deal on Amazon so I won't do that one again but let's look at uh, like our love living or a loving social our living social and the site that's similar to it as well which is our Groupon site and you'll even see some of the same uh, sales or coupons and stuff now I know we may not have a lot of things going on uh, right now but it's a great place to basically let's say when the ice skating rink comes uh, hopefully it'll come back I think it was signed up for a three-year um, thing in Evans uh, the ice skating rink but anything that's like a traveling which of course we're not having a lot of that right now coming and going but we will eventually be back doing that stuff um, but it has all kinds of stuff uh, sales papers local restaurants and the way living social and Groupon basically work is most of the time it's a let's say you get a twenty twenty dollar gift card to a restaurant and you pay ten dollars okay so it's something you print out or you can have it on your phone if you download their app and you go to the business they can actually scan it that way uh, this basically 
they split the profits with the, the website and they get half. A uh, big thing is these usually, I'll say usually most of these actually have an expiration date on it, okay? Maybe six months from now or something. The good part about it is if you want to use the use coupon within there in the six months, if you actually go uh, to the the business, usually they'll they'll give you the, you know, if, let's say you paid 20 bucks and you're supposed to get a, let's say you paid, excuse me, let's say you paid $10 and you get a $20 coupon, okay? And it, it expires, then the business most of the time will go ahead and give you the ten dollars. Okay. All right. So Miss Joyce says, couldn't get the coupons to print with my old printer. Haven't tried with the new one yet. Actually, they printed really, really tiny. Oh, okay. So you couldn't use them. Ooh, okay. I think that. I'm trying to think here. So. Let's just, let me see if I can just get a coupon. I think I have to sign in and stuff. Or if I can just go to a quick coupon. I think it says it is like a PDF file. Okay, so I go to print. And it's loading, I guess. Okay, so this is when it wants me to give them a cell phone number and all that. And then it wants me to have a verified account. So that's where you would basically sign up. Makes you sign up once. And I think it gives it as a PDF. Now, the PDF, let's say, I think I can stimulate that real quick. I hit print here. So the big thing is, if it's a PDF, so I'll, I'll just kind of simu simulate this, like I said. So it makes you like save it somewhere, okay? And I'll save it, uh, we'll just say, so I'll just say coupon PDF, okay? Okay, it looked fine on the site, but actually printed, okay, really small. All right, so if I open that file I just made, there's different ways that you can view a PDF. I believe I believe it does print as a PDF. So if I uh, fire this, this is uh, the Microsoft Edge browser, which they've changed the logo to makes it it's used to look like the Inner Explorer basically, and it has a built-in PDF reader. Okay, if I think Firefox now does too. If you can't do whatever you want to with the PDF, you may want to download um, the Adobe the Adobe Reader, okay? Because that is actually the true, yeah, the best PDF viewer, okay? That may give you, no, it doesn't cost anything. I don't know why it's popping that up right now. No, it doesn't cost me. I don't, I, don't, I don't want Pro. Hold on. Yeah, Reader. That's what I want. Yeah, download the Reader. And it actually will give you more options about, about um, looking, viewing. The Reader is what you want. This is, this, this is for companies that make PDFs. Uh, this is what you want, the free one. And it will give you a whole lot more options when you print. Okay? So... If you open the PDF with the actual software from Adobe uh, Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat, it actually will give you more options. So if it is smaller, you should be able to make it larger or whatever. Now, the basic printing here, if I do it here, will basically tell me, I think I can zoom in, I can do um, the scaling on here. Now, like you said, you looked at it and it looked like it was right. But as you see, this is still this is still a little messed up. If I do fit to print, the reason it might be too small is it might be set from fit to print. Okay. But if you are having problems with that, then you can actually do the scaling right here by changing the size. So I can make it a hundred. No, I wanted to I'm sorry. Click too many times. 
and this is the Microsoft Edge browser. So you should be able to change the zoom level here and that will help, okay? Uh, you know, 120 or something like that. Now, can you, let's see. Try to think, I'd have to look at it, I think, to see exactly you know, if it's in the store, all they would need is really the the barcode to be able to scan it, or at least the number for the barcode to be able to scan it to give you credit for it. Um, think of a different way here. Okay, so you're printing it from here. You could change the size, but if you look on here, it could be you know, still too much. I'm not sure you just have to kind of play around with it, Miss Joyce, but I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a way to do it. It could be that the reader you were using wasn't viewing it properly. So like, let's say I would try to open it in this, the edge browser here, or I would download the Adobe Acrobat reader and then view it there. Um, I've had family that and myself too, that have, seen the limits that the built-in PDF readers have in the browsers and downloading the real Adobe um, reader uh, allows you to do so much more like um, I've even had it where family are trying to fill out forms and the reader in you know the Microsoft Edge wouldn't let you do that um, but but if you are having problems with the PDF the best thing to do is view it with the PDF reader okay or, you know, if, if you're still having these problems and if it's not a PDF, I try it in a different browser, okay? I hate for that to sound too general as, as uh, recommendations. <laughs> okay, okay, good. This is the this is the exact link, so I can post that in there. So I'll post that into the chat. Okay. Yeah, the preview is supposed to look the, exactly the same. Um, let's see. I've even tricked. Uh, I've had to print something from... Uh, like a PDF before or, or someplace else and instead of printing to the printer I actually did like the zoom level and all that and then told it to save it to print it to um, where is it on here print it as a PDF because the Microsoft browser lets you do that instead of printing to a printer and then I actually changed like the zoom level or anything like that and then when I opened it I know that was like that's like a double save and then I opened it it was it was I was able to zoom in even more um, to be able to, to kind of mess around with it a little bit too I don't even see now where it has the because it's already shrink to fit kind of but don't give up <laughs> don't give up and let me know what happens okay all right so we talked about our Groupon, Living Social a little bit. Like I said, the easiest thing to really do is they have the apps. This is a great thing uh, because one of the things you can do is that you basically go out of town and you go, I'd like something new to do. And you can even, it'll say, well, where are you? And it says, you know, look at the GPS location. Of course, you can type in the zip code too if you're using the app. And it'll actually give you good suggestions like, um, I don't know, some kind of gardens, plantation or something to look at. Uh, there's a local restaurant. I think we've got the zip code on here, don't we? Yeah, it says Augusta. Okay, the indoor kid jump around. There's like a bowling alley for cheaper. You know, things to do. Then it also will include things that they'll sell online as well so just kind of be aware of that but yeah okay good try it on the new printer good 
Okay, good. That sounds great, Miss Joyce. Let me know next time. And then we can work on it together. How about that? So these are really great. I won't say they'll have the same things, but you'll see that some of the things they have are actually similar. So if you kind of go back and forth, but I have had ones where um, Groupon, Living Social will have different things, but uh, like I said, you just have to kind of look. But yeah, there you go, restaurants near me. There you go. So. Okay, so here's 10% off at Outback. Delivery or takeout. That's the specific delivery or takeout. Bonefish Grill. And let's see. I hear good things about pot smokers, believe it or not. I've never been there. Uh, meal prep. So this is the, sh the shipping, the food in the mail, I guess. If we click, let's try Outback. Let's see, for 45, they'll give you a $50 e card. Okay, yeah, that's 10% off. No? Yeah, $5 is 10% off. But anyway, so, and then we'll talk about how long you should be able to use it. And it talks about the location and also have their phone number and stuff like that on there too. So $5 off, eh, pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's talk about another one that's really great. And I think this has an app now. It's Gas Buddy. But the big thing about this is to try to Used to, it was just a website and that's the only thing it did. Yeah, now they have like a um, uh, like a redeem card kind of situation. I haven't used that myself. Mostly what I've really done was um, just type in just like the, the city or whatever. Let's say search. And I'll put in, yeah, Evans. There you go. Find gas. And then it lists the cheapest price to get gas. Now, some of these may also include the price of being in their club. <laughs> Do you want to be in my club? Uh, so being in their club, and that's when it gives you the discount. But if you are looking for the, some of the cheapest gas, gasbuddy.com is a great way to do it. Of course, they have an app now. Looks like they have some kind of uh, percentage plan or something like that. And they're usually, this is interesting because usually it shows that the Kroger and the Walmart are the cheapest. Eh, interesting. Do you realize that the Shell gas stations, you can use your Kroger card as well? I don't see the Walmart one on here at all. Interesting. Unless they've changed names or something. Hmm. Okay, anyway, it's something to look into. That's Gas Buddy. All right, so let's look at some of the retailer coupons. And I'm going to look for something real quick. One minute, let me look for something and I'm going to show you. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Now there's different sites, and one of them here is called it's Acorn. And you may or may not have heard about this before. Basically, it's one of those, it's mostly the app. It is completely free. And basically what it does is it, it's for investing, okay? And it does, should talk about, yeah. 
Well, they have a free version too. It doesn't charge anything a month. So anyway, if you have the, you come into here and you make a, per, through them, it's a little complicated, but through them, and they have Walmart on here, and the, I don't know why it's not showing it, but the Uber Eats is on here as well. At, at The first time purchase is 9% back. The other time is 4% back. Walmart is a 1% is a 1% back. So basically if you use the app, log into the app, click let's say Walmart, make a purchase, you'll actually get 1% back and they actually put it as an investment um, and you, you, you pick out what, how you want your investments to work. But they have it set up as an investment and goes toward basically uh, making money in the future okay so this is a really big one here it's it will do automatic investment rounds up and stuff like that but if you make some purchases uh, from any of these stores most of these have uh, some kind of way that you can uh, get a percentage back of what you you buy so looking into that it's kind of like getting a kickback from something but mostly it goes to your investment account that's on here and it's free uh, to be able to do that okay so definitely recommend that uber eats is on there as well for like four percent i believe and then they give the whatever your purchase was they do four percent of it back to your investment um plan and that's the acorn uh, app and they do they do all kinds of different types of investments but that's one way that you can spend money and get money back okay all right, so that's kind of my new thing talking about here, new find. Let's talk about our Kroger app. I won't log into my account right now, but I'll just kind of show you. So basically with the Kroger app, they actually have, and here it is, it's loading, They'll show all the, dis the discounts they have of the week, of course. You can see this with their sales paper as well. And I think, where's their paper? The digital weekly ad, there you go. So there's our weekly ad popping up. So there's our weekly ad, and it'll talk about what the discount is. Now, the weekly ad will also include like digital deals on here and talk about final cost and all that buy five or more where's my digital deal where's my digital deal anyway it's on here somewhere they always have a digital deal usually it looks like it's in a separate like pull out or whatever i must be overlooking it anyway I'll tell you my secret with the digital deal. And where is it? <laughs> okay, come on thing, you gotta pop up again. Delicious coupons. Anyway, they have digital deals. Now from home you can actually add the, the coupons to your card. You sign up with your card, which they want you to have anyway. But with the digital deal, my big thing is already have it on your phone, okay? And then basically when you walk into the store, you'll actually see signs. I don't know why that sales paper didn't say that because I always have a, set, a digital deal. Anyway, so when you see the, the, the digital deal in the store, okay? So you say, oh, well, I want to buy this. This looks like a good deal. And it goes, digital deal only. Go, oh, so I'd have to go to the website and then or through the app and search for that and add it and all that. Well, guess what? The Kroger app actually has a barcode scanner in it. So if you're actually in Kroger, pull out your, was it on the first page? <laughs> I knew it was on there somewhere. Anyway, so you're in the store. You see a sign that says digital deal. Take the product in your hand, scan it with your the barcode scanner that comes with um, the Kroger app, 
It'll pop up and give you a price. That's an excellent way to find out how much something is in a store. In general, Walmart one, I really recommend having that on your phone because you'll be in Walmart and you're like, I don't know how much this is because there's no sign. And you just scan it with the barcode. Anyway, um, it'll pop up and say, hey, there, did you know that there's a digital deal for this? Would you like to add this to your coupons? And you just tap it right on the phone. So instead of having to seek these things out, I'm in the store, you know, maybe I'll look at them in the sales paper, but if I do see it in the store, I can scan the barcode of the item. It'll pop up on the app and say, hey, did you know there's a digital deal? Say yes, add it to, and it's like two taps and you're done, okay? You don't have to think about it uh, too much, okay? They also have a free thing on Friday, which I have a family member that really gets involved with that. Uh, but I usually not sure where that where even to look to find out where that is but it is on here sometimes they have like a free uh, item on Friday so do be aware of that okay so great app on there also there's other ones there's a target one as well that allows you to accumulate points uh, the Walgreens ones also does coupons accumulate points so uh, the, the CVS, they want to give you the, um, the big long receipt. That really does have good coupons in it. Um, I haven't personally used their, uh, you know, try to keep up with some of those, but those are really good coupons when you check out. Yes, definitely Walmart, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Anyway, so used to Walmart had a deal where you scanned your, your card. I mean, excuse me, you scanned your receipt and then you would basically get a, uh, a oh, let, me, let me talk about that. That's a good idea. Uh, I'm trying to remember what they call that now. Let's see. No, that's not it. Give me one second. I'm trying to remember what the thing is called. Oh, I think it's just called Walmart Plus or something. I can talk about that because we've got Walmart going on. Okay, so this is the new thing that Walmart's doing. And they're trying to... I won't go into it too much, but basically months ago, Walmart actually bought a company that their big thing is shipping, okay? So they bought a company, they've kind of integrated it to what they're doing now, and now they're basically trying to compete with Amazon in a way, because Amazon actually started doing a lot of grocery stuff. So there's even some just kind of small grocery things that you can get from Amazon. So if you have Amazon Prime, of course, you get the vid Amazon Video, you get you get a, um, some of the Amazon Music, mm. but the big thing is that is getting the free two-day shipping, okay? So this is kind of Walmart's answer to that, and they're basically, it it is a competitive price. There is no video, They which is strange because Walmart actually has a a uh, very small video service. Mostly it's about videos you've purchased, but there are some free videos on that service. But anyway, um, basically one of the big things is that they doing, uh, let's see, free uh, delivery, okay? So no delivery fee where Walmart does have a certain fee, but if you, but they've been, been, um, waiving that fee if you buy a certain amount and it depends they've changed the rules a few times same prices but there's also other benefits too and one of the things is that they actually have a way that you can the delivery is the big thing delivery really is the big thing um, but they actually have a way that not only having the stuff delivered to you unlimited uh, delivery service um, they're getting a, a save five percent on uh, gas every time that you get it at the Walmart 
but also they have this feature called mobile scan and go okay mobile scan and go means you have basically have the Walmart app you're in the store okay I'm still trying to figure out how you would police this to be honest but I don't know you know the the greeter person checking out I guess you could sh just show them something and they can see the receipt on your phone I guess I haven't done this myself but basically it's the, an idea that you can pull your phone out scan stuff that's in your buggy and then pay for it through the app and you literally just walk out the store there is no cashier there is no going through the line there is no line you walk out the door okay so um, it says less time at the register so I guess they are going to check you out at some point here well, that answered my question but basically you're scanning all your groceries yourself and only you can do this if you're part of this club and then you pay for it with the app and then basically I guess you have to show that to the register and they you just walk out okay they verify that those are the items that you scanned okay here we have a video let's check out our video here now scan and go make shopping quicker at Walmart just open the Walmart app go to the menu select your Walmart plus account tap mobile scan and go and get started scan as you shop see totals in real time then scan the code at self checkout and pay with your phone it's as easy as one two three Thanks. just scan and pay with your phone see totals in real time tap mobile scan and go and get started scan as you shop see totals in real time then scan the code at self checkout and pay with your phone it's as easy as one two three Thanks. just scan check out and pay Walmart plus start your free trial today okay it says something about self checkout scan huh okay I guess I'd have to look into that a little further see I, I learned stuff too because I thought you could scan and then just walk out the door but you'd still gonna have to go to the self checkout okay you'll need to weigh items sold by the pound at self checkout a Walmart associate will need to verify your ID for items with age restrictions such as alcohol scan each items barcode or place them in the cart you'll need to weigh item okay so check out digitally when you're finished shopping head to a self checkout register scan your QR code to finalize payment receive an exit pass and receipt uh, okay so The benefit is what? <laughs> so I, I, the benefit would be that I can just leisurely scan. I will tell you this, that for years they've actually talked about they didn't want us to have a way to add up our purchases while we were walking around because we can that would make it easier for us to stay on a budget if that makes sense they almost want us to retailers want us to put our items together look and see that we are getting a good price for the for the items at Walmart especially or a price that we're satisfied for paying okay and then we get to the exit and maybe we added more things than we think but then we still go okay well I don't want to go back and put stuff back I don't I can still you know this is still good I feel like I'm getting a good price or at least I'm willing to pay this price and then it puts it all together so this adding it together in the store which of course you could always just pull out a calculator and do it in your head but them not putting the prices on the items always made that a little difficult um, to add everything together exactly so I guess 
So let's say you don't have anything that's age restricted. You don't have anything to weigh. You still have to wait in line at a self checkout. And then you scan your bar, a QR code on your phone saying you've, you're ready to pay. But I thought the benefit was paying through the phone. And then it prints you a receipt to show the greeter at the door, I guess, to leave. And then they verify that those are your items. Okay, that, a uh, big thing about that I always thought was interesting was that you still may want to still go to the checkout because then you don't have everything in bags. <laughs> so even if you had, if you had a cell phone, you could scan everything in your buggy. You still wouldn't have any bags to put anything in, you know, in case you, unless you brought bags with you. Um, so I'll have to think about this one. This is trying out something new and I applaud them for that. And I also, of course, was talking about, I wondered how they were going to verify, you know, you're, you're leaving with what you bought. So anyway, it's new. So I have to look into that, but you only get this if you sign up for their membership. And again, the big benefit of the membership is to have the unlimited uh, home delivery. Um, I'm sure there's a catch in there somewhere. Yeah, there you go. So quicker home delivery, but I have to tell you the, the ordering something and pulling up and then putting it in the trunk is a fantastic service as well. Okay, I think we're all learning all these little hands-off tricks. Uh, and this is a new one, so I don't know. Okay, so, yeah. Exactly. So you'd still have to go to the checkout to, to weigh the fruit. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You got to get fruit every time. And then they have the bananas right there. So when you check out, you got to grab you some bananas. Okay. So, yeah, mm, I don't know. I have to think about this one. Uh, but the home delivery, I think, is the main thing people are focusing in on. Um, but yeah, so for a later date, we'll see how this works out. It says you can try it out for 15 days and see what you think. Um, but you know, ordering stuff on the on the the Walmart app and then having a, a, a setup so you can pull up and they put it in your trunk. It's a fantastic service, and it's. Uh, I will tell you this, it's, it's, uh, I, the, I've done the mobile ordering, which I was about to talk about with McDonald's and some of the other places, and it seems like the digital ordering is more accurate, uh, especially if you have like specialty orders like you don't like mustard, like myself, and um, telling them ordering through the McDonald's app, and you may or may not know this, but there's lot, tons of coupons on the McDonald's app. And there's a place that you can actually park at all the McDonald's, at least the ones I've been to. And uh, McDonald's does the GPS, so it knows where you are before you before you finish your order. And you pull up and you tell it which number you're in. Uh, usually it's three or four. And you order and they, they bring out the items. And I have yet for it to actually be inaccurate, which is great. So... I guess it's a very clear, maybe maybe the people that do that and also the people that are checking out and putting stuff in the at Walmart, maybe they are trained to triple check. I don't know. So actually having a better experience with places like McDonald's or even you know Chick-fil-A does a fantastic job uh, with their stuff, but they also have that feature as well. The curbside pickup, I've done Chili's curbside pickup and that was excellent, just ordering through the app and it seems like my um, what I bought is more accurate than even verbally saying it to someone, which is kind of sad. Anyway, McDonald's has tons of the McDonald's app has tons of free coupons constantly. They will throw food at you all the time. Free Fry Fridays on there too. Chick Fil A is really good, um, even if you like Chick Fil A a little bit. Uh, not a lot of people know that during this Chick-fil-A is actually doing the um, a fettuccine Alfredo chicken that you can take home and uh, cook later. 
and I think it's like 14 it's for two people but it could feed you know three people I think and um, I don't know they're trying some new stuff they have a great point system as well they'll throw food at you too you know free drink stuff like that Moe's um, used to be the place to mostly go get a lot of free food and points there of course Diablo's sucks you in real good uh, my big tip of Diablo's is to get the the um, not the kid meal but they call it the junior meal and you get a medium drink and it's like seven bucks and uh, you know instead of paying uh, 10 or 11 uh, it's seven and includes a drink and you get queso with it and they call that the like the jun not the kid meal I think it's the junior meal but it's not the kitty meal anyway we talked about the Walmart app there you know the big thing is if you do pay uh, I'm not sure how this is going to affect what we just talked about but the big thing is that if you do set it up with your Walmart to pay through the Walmart card, they're supposed to actually do uh, uh, compa price comparisons. At least that was the last time that I, I had heard about that. And if the price drops a lot, they'll actually give you like a store credit. Okay. So looking at that, I'm not sure if they've changed that now because they're coming out with something new or not. But we'll have to see. All right. And also Dollar General is doing a lot of coupons as well. I know it seems like Dollar General is kind of on every uh, corner now. <laughs> and uh, I will tell you this, there's certain places that a Dollar General will be and they don't raise their prices, even if it's kind of like an outpost place. And you're like, wow, this is like the only you know store around. This, this, this Dollar General must have really expensive prices. You know, and they're about the same. You can get some good deals on certain things, and of course, other things. They're they think they're a convenience store. You just have to watch your prices. That's all. Um, I think some of their prices on uh, you know candies and gums and stuff like that. They charge a little more. It seems like than like a Walmart does. But I don't I don't really buy a lot of that anyway. But anyway, here's a website that talks a lot about uh, d double couponing. I don't really do that too much myself, but. Apparently there's a real art to it. <laughs> there's a, excuse me, a real art to doing uh, double couponing. So I'll leave that to that expert right there. So let's kind of talk about what we covered today and then we'll wrap up class and I'll see if there's any other questions. Yes, clearance sales are really good at General Dollar. Do you know the difference between a clearance sale and a sale? What it's supposed to mean, and if you look up the definition, a clearance sale is actually supposed to mean that that item will be priced um, basically until it's sold, and it also may mean that they're not getting any more of that item. A sale, can the price means, to, this is what it's supposed to mean, is that they can drop the price and then they can re-raise the price later, okay? And I do know that J.B. White's, and of course now that's Dillard's, uh, used to, their big thing was those midnight sales, and they would actually price their clothing accordingly to the midnight sales as being their regular sales price and their, um, their um, normal sales price was higher uh, because they knew they were going to have these massive sales. So a sale is supposed to be able to go down and it's supposed to be able to go back up. But when you see the sign that says clearance, that means that there's a set time and is also, this is legally, legally this is supposed to be what that means, is that it's going to be marked down until it's completely sold or they take it off the shelf. Okay, So that's what it, the difference between a clearance and a sale is. If it says clearance, it's not supposed to, the price is not supposed to go back up. But it also means that they're going to probably they're, they're supposed to remove the item from the shelves at some point. But anyway, that's where you'll see a lot of the uh, they're not going to buy you know that candle, that item, what, whatever it is. Um, it's usually not a dropped can item or the dented can, as they like to say. Um, but yeah, so yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's talk about what we covered. We talked about shopping online safely, 
knowing our rights online. We talked about scams, our browser tabs, the product search and company compared sites. We talked a lot about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Uh, we talked about our apps, the online stores, gift ideas, the coupon sites. <laughs> we talked a lot about those now, didn't we? And then we also talked about the daily deal sites and retailer apps and stuff. All right, so I'm going to ask if there's any other final questions. And I'll go ahead and talk about some of our other classes that we have coming up. So tomorrow, tomorrow, come join me. We're actually going to be, I'm actually going to be doing a gadget help on Zoom. You can, there's, there's still some space available. It's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. You can call into the Harlem Library and set up a, um, a time for that. Uh, they're in 30 minute or to an hour increments, depending on what you want. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, and then they'll give you the information on how um, they'll send me the information. Then I'll send you the information on how to log into Zoom and everything. And that's tomorrow from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. But just call in, and they'll set everything up, um, give you the information on the Harlem uh, the Harlem uh, Library. So uh, the 21st tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be doing scratch basics. Basics. Let's make a spooky card and dance party with Scratch. <laughs> and then Thursday, what are we going to do on Thursday? Thursday morning, we're going to again do be doing the Scratch Basics. Let's make a fun Halloween card and dance party. And then in the afternoon, we're going to with Scratch. And then in the afternoon, we're going to be doing a Halloween Python coding class. Scary spot the different prank uh, game. Uh, kind of, kind of, not really a game, but kind of like a trick thing. But we're going to be doing something fun. It's from the Raspberry uh, Pi website, but we don't need the Raspberry Pi to do that. We just need the free Python software installed. And then next week, we'll also be doing a gadget uh, Zoom, and we'll be doing a Unity class, a Raspberry Pi project, Halloween Raspberry Pi project with fun sounds and stuff. And then we'll be making a spooky game at the end of the month on the 29th. So come join me for all that. Lots of fun Halloween stuff. Maybe we'll do some, some Thanksgiving Day turkey stuff uh, with Scratch next month. <laughs> I think that would be fun. And definitely share with friends or family as well. Just a little side note, if you're trying to log in to RB Digital uh, to get your free audiobooks and eBooks through the library, just realize we've switched over to Libby as of October 1st. Uh, all you need to do is download the Libby app, um, put it on your device. Don't look, search for the Columbia County Library in Evans, Harden Library, or Uchi Creek Library. Search for Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System. It'll say, what library are you with? And then click where it says Google, I mean, excuse me, click where it says Georgia Download Destination, and then give them your library card, and you'll be right in. And then you can start listening to free audiobooks and ebooks. Okay. All right. So, little side note uh, do you realize the libraries are open with limited services and hours? Curbside holds pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call into the library Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course, right now we're having a subscribe drive. If we can get 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel, then we'll get our own unique custom address that we can give out. But right now, just search YouTube for GCHRL videos, and you'll be good to go. Okay, didn't have any other final questions or anything like that. I look forward to, um, thank you all for everybody being here. Thanks for being here, Miss Joyce and everybody else. And uh, I guess I'll see you again later. It's nice weather outside like we were talking about earlier. So definitely go outside. Might even be some good camping or maybe even camping in the yard uh, weather. We'll have to see. And enjoy yourself. Stay safe out there. Stay positive. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> so bye-bye and happy Halloween. Ooh. Bye-bye.